Julie here. I just thought I'd uh, create a quick video because I've had so many people contacting me intrigued by how I actually created funds to publish my children's book, Hank the Hungry Monster. I did it via affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing in a nutshell is just when you actually send traffic to somebody else, another product owner's sales page and for every successful sale they make on anybody you send to them, they just pay you automatic commissions. Now, one of the affiliate marketing platforms that I use is ClickBank, which has been around for a long time. It's a reputable site. And what I love about it, it'll show you stats. It'll show you how many people have actually viewed your link. It, will, it pays automatic commissions every week. And it's just very, very easy to use. So, for example, I've come into the marketplace today. Um, and let's just say we got, there's all different categories there, as you can see. Uh, parenting and family. So if we go into that one and then we can have a quick look at what's on offer. So what I always say to people is um, I started off by just thinking how much per month did I want to initially earn and obviously however much you want to earn per month you just divide that by um, 30 days to see how, much, how many products you want to sell a day and obviously like if you want for example if you wanted £200 a month you don't need to sell one of those Whereas you'd need to sell about eight of those, just as an example, I'm not great at maths, but it just gives you some idea. Obviously, the higher the commission, the less products you have to sell to reach your ideal monthly target. Um, what I The first thing I always look at is the gravity score, because the higher the gravity score, the more popular the product is. So it shows us a, it shows us a better seller in one way, but that doesn't necessarily mean to say it's a good product. Because what this actually means is there are a lot of affiliate sellers selling a product. Um, a 32 is sort of a good score. I mean, if you've got something 2 to 300, which isn't uncommon in some of the more popular... Um, I'm trying to see if I can see some small ones, some bigger ones. It's not unpopular, like for health and fitness, for example, to see something with a gradient gravity score of 2 to 300. I would tend to avoid those because that would mean there's a lot of competition for that particular product. But having said that, it could also be that a lot of the affiliates are selling in different countries. So, for example, if, like me, you're based in the UK, it doesn't necessarily follow that a high score gravity would be something you'd avoid altogether because it could, might be that there's no sellers in the UK selling that product, for example. I also wouldn't be necessarily put off by a low score, gravity score, such as that one. And the reason being, it could just be that that's a little golden nugget that nobody is sort of latched on to. For example, one of the products I sell is a Dr. Chan memory book. And that had a really low gravity score, I think, from the example, I think it was about 4%. But it doesn't stop me selling a lot of the books because I wasn't put off by it because, as it happened... I had that product in the house and I was using those memory techniques with my own children for revision. So I knew they were a good product. I'd also purchased the Pass Maths GCSE in four weeks, which was also by the same seller. And I knew that was a good product. But again, the gravity score wasn't particularly appealing. So I wouldn't actually be put off by the gravity score, but I would just be guided by it. Because the first thing that I do, if I'm ever thinking of selling a product, is become a product, a, a product of the product and what do I mean by that I mean that I always purchase a copy of the product so that I can try it out for myself because I find I can be far more passionate and far more influential in selling something that I've used myself because what one of the ways that I actually have been successful in selling so many products is by actually creating reviews on YouTube and on my blog Alright, so the way of having a look, first of all, you want to have a look roughly, let's just go into this one for example, and see what sort of sales page, because sometimes if you've got a low grade gravity score, it can mean that the sales page is rubbish as well. Again, don't be put off by that, because you can create your own content on YouTube videos or on a blog, like that wouldn't particularly appeal to me, that one there to be perfectly honest, but it wouldn't put me off it, because I tried the product and then I just create my own content that would set, it would convert better. Now this is uh, a good commission. It's got a nice gravity score, nice steady gravity score. So let's have a look at that one. Could be a bit spammy, mine based on the message. If you're paying with an age two to fourteen, again, anyway, is to actually go through these individual sites and have a look at them. 
and see which one takes your fancy. Now on saying that, very often you can contact the product owner and ask them will they give you a free trial of the product because they're very interested and passionate about their niche and their product and you obviously want to be able to sell more for them by actually trying the product yourself. And I have had product owners who have actually given me a link whereby I can actually go through the product for free and I haven't had to purchase it. So it's, it, you know, there's nothing lost by actually contacting the product owner to ask them for a free trial. So that's basically it for today's quick tutorial. It's just to show you the ClickBank Marketplace, which is just one affiliate uh, platform I use. And to show you a bit of, of an example of what sort of categories are on there, what sort of products and the things to look for, which are the commit for the conversions and the com uh, the commissions. You also want to know what the gravity score is, and also to look at the sales page. There's also an affiliate page as well that affiliates can look at, and it gives you an example then of how they pay you and what the products are. Alright, so that's for saving my marriage today. So I hope that's given you a brief insight into one of the platforms I use, which is ClickBank. Um, it's got a dashboard in there. You've got the account settings, which shows you how many uh, people have looked at your link. Because what would happen then, for example, if you wanted to promote one of these, you just press promote. And I mean, there's my link, for example, but they will give you your own link then to actually sell it. And that will then show you then on your stats, how much you, how many people are viewing your link every day, and then how many sales have been made. All right, so I hope this has helped, and as I say, I hope to do another video for you shortly, showing you some other aspects of how you actually can use platforms like ClickBank to create cash flow to fund your dream product. Bye for now.